Welcome back guys to the Roina, and I've decided after moving my troops back to Nisar that we're gonna have our last stand here. I will take a loan from the Iron Bank, 400 gold, which is pretty impressive actually. We'll take that loan and we will raise some mercenaries and I've decided that I would like to raise spearmen. Um, so we'll go for uh, Dorney spearmen, yes. So the Tullys, or yeah, well I guess the Tullys have raised them, but we will take them. They are probably good against heavy cavalry or light cavalry for that matter so we'll hire one two three um that would be fourteen thousand and a hundred gold we have got left so he's gonna come he's gonna arrive in coin he's probably gonna make his way all the way to Nisar with his with his eighteen thousand men uh we'll have enough time to raise our morale we'll stand probably protecting behind a river i could imagine and we have extra spearmen so hopefully this goes well. We'll have to see. Um, yes, he's... Oh, wow. He's actually pretty fast. Okay, so we got 14,000 minutes to combine the troops. And... Right. So I think what I'm going to be doing is... I will put the command in the center to... I will give that to Rickers. And I will probably move over... Every single other levy we've got... To this other flank. Um... So we have two flanks only, but if they break, it doesn't matter if we have more. So, yeah, we'll just do it like this. That means we have 8,000, 6,000. This guy, Gullion, he is a brilliant strategist. He's a flanker and a cavalry leader and also a trickster. So I'll give him command of this flank and then we'll have Rickers in the center. He's just a genius. So um, this, is, this is the way we can do it. This flank is just not there, but I think this is the best chance we've got. The best chance we've got. All right, so let's let's see how this how this goes. Eighteen thousand men against fourteen thousand. We have our best commanders, and um, the new clan has risen. Okay, apparently. What? W wait. We have Karl Remeco. Wait, wait, wait. Is he independent? Oh, wait. Hold. What? What's? What happened? What the heck happened? Um. Okay, he apparently still has all these men. Wait, am I looking at something wrong? No, they all fell apart. They all fell apart. Oh, well, that's interesting. But he still has these many men. So we have to defend. We have to defend. Wait, what? How's that? What happened? Did he die? Oh, his father died. Oh, yeah, Zolo the Tyrant died. I see. Okay, so he apparently died. So his son has taken over. No one is following him. And, yeah, he still has that many men, though. That's the problem. He has still the event spawn army. And he's bringing them against us. Alright. Actually, no, the war is over. Oh, come on! I just spent so much money on these mercenaries. Alright, fine. I guess that's still good, then. So, Dothraki are no longer a threat. <sighs> so, now we never know if we would have held uh, these men off. Well, okay. I guess... Is there anything else I could do? Is there anything else I could do? Let's, let, let me see. Volantis is currently having 10, he has 10,000 men and he is, he is what? He's defending against a Valor uprising. Oh, he's actually losing that. This guy has 10,000 men. This might be the right time to declare war on Volantis to emancipate them, right? People have been suggesting that. So, if I stand out my forces now, at least I have to stand out my domain forces. We have 3,000 men held. Because I just, yeah, I just spend the money on them. Alright, I'll stand out our regular troops. And I think now we should be able to declare this war, right? So we're going to declare war. Oh, we cannot. Now yeah, we cannot emancipate them for some reason. We could do it here. Emancipation of Mir, but they have so many men, 12,000. That would be very costly, and we just don't have the money right now. So as much as I hate to just abandon the troops we spend so much money on, I think we might have to. Yeah, we might have to. Alright, Tyrosh. We could it Could we declare war on Tyrosh? We could not. What about Lys? We could emancipate Lys. How many men? 8,000. But also 800 gold. Alright. You know what? We'll stand him down. We'll have to wait. We'll have to. We'll have to make that money back. 
because the the Iron Bank money is kind of my defensive tool. But yeah, so I think we'll have to make our money back first before we do anything else. Sweet. And I think now we're also probably just going to go into hiding. Yes. I'm mean, so old. 75. Might as well go into hiding. All right. So we have a new new regent, Master Rikas. I hope he's going to do a good job. And I will probably uh, just go ahead and cut away because we're just going to have to, uh, yeah, well, rest up uh, and, and build up our, our, our forces again, our money and our forces because they have been quite depleted as well. And uh, once that happened, I'll come right back. So welcome back, guys. Our princess is still kicking. Melissa the chest. Wow, she certainly had a long reign. But for the last, I don't know, 30 years of her reign, she had this this problem, this malaise. Um, and no one was able to get rid of it. That's kind of weird. I think this must be a bug. But still, I find it kind of strange. Also, she's obviously infirm now, which means she's going to die very soon. She's a lunatic. She's paranoid and craven, all these kinds of things. But I decided to come out of hiding one more time because I would like to do something. I would like to do... Uh, I would like to change uh, some laws. I want to increase the realm authority up to medium because I'm missing a few options here and I don't know why this is it might be because we need an empire rank for it for example we do not have any revo title revocation laws I, I cannot set them and some other things are missing as well either they are just not present in this mod which could be the case I don't know um, or there simply needs to be a higher realm authority I don't know but in either case we'll just go ahead and uh, well go for this as you can see our council is slightly in favor of it but I need to make sure that we actually make it. So therefore, I'm going to uh, request the council support of my husband. He is our, well, many things. He is master of laws, captain of the household guard, king's justice, and all these kinds of things. But he will, uh, yeah, we will request this council support. And then he will vote like we want him to. Which is going to be good. Um, another thing that happened, well, we have winter now, which is kind of a problem, but uh, I was actually able to uh, repay the loan that we had um, that we had taken from the Iron Bank because that is kind of important. That was 500 gold. That was pretty hefty, but I was able to imprison a few of my vassals, so we got the money in relatively quickly. Actually, you know what? This guy, he should be... Uh, buying himself out of prison very soon. Okay, he has. Awesome. So that's nice. We just wait for our husband to accept. Um, in fact, yeah, he's he should respond anytime soon. There he is. He said he will support us. Good. So we should be able to change this now. We had a lot of supporters. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and see what uh, what happens. We have two people voting for it so far. We'll see how things go. Also, I decided to give up two titles. I gave this guy, Prince Illyrio, I gave him the uh, Principality of the Southern Forest because he does not have an heir, so he might just die and we inherit it back. Um, and then I decided to invite Prince Lewin Sphinx um, to my court, um, as a lot of people have suggested, and I have given him Kohor. I also mean to make House Sphinx the loads over the entirety of Kohor, but for that we need an um empire. So before, well, until that happens, he's just gonna have uh, the city, but that's, you know, that's gonna give him some nice income and he will also be able to regrow his levy. So he's gonna be a valuable asset. Also, I can actually raise quite a few men from him, so that's very nice too. Um, other than that, anything else that is particularly important? I think I invited a few people to my court. So as you can see, yeah, we have all kinds of... Uh, men here that I've invited which is very nice and they they are now guarding us protecting us as our as a sort of queen's guard or yeah princess guard I guess I can imprison master Manfrey okay well never mind his plot has already been stopped which is nice so that's basically what I've been doing I've just been imprisoning people that oh, we lost our priest well I've just been imprisoning people that I was able to well that I was able to imprison obviously and uh, so I made money this way. Okay, so you are now a new priest. And I think I will send you to, yeah, try and convert the Neuron Valley. I mean, we've been trying to do that for a long time. It's not been very successful, but at least we have some people that follow the right religion. So that's better than nothing, right? And our husband has died. Well, that's obviously very bad because he was on the council. Um, we, will we give him a funeral? I'm not sure. I suppose. I mean, he was actually pretty... Uh, I think it's a small private funeral. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, 
well, it's it's okay. Um, but that means we need a new Justicer and all kinds of other new things. So let's see who we can pick. Maybe someone who likes us. That would probably be good. This guy, Ruggo of Archon. Um, yeah, I suppose we'll make him... Or, well, he wants to become Master of Laws. Well, there you go. Then you should have that position. And I want you to... What do I want you to do? I think I want you to improve relations with some of our vassals that don't like me that much. But that we can maybe easily improve relations with. Like this guy, my uh, my nephew. He should like me. After all, he's our Master of Whisperers. So where is he? He's over there. Alright, so let's go ahead. Improve relations with him. That'd be great. And that's, that's that. Alright, we also need a new Captain of the Household Guard. So there's the few, those, those four people I have invited to our court. And I think the best fighter of them all is this guy, Denio. So I think I'll just give him the job. Although, he... Mm, well, he is a bit of a drunkard and slothful. He's very ambitious too. But I think I'll probably go with this, this guy. He seems a bit better. He's very attractive. He's also a bit younger. Uh, well, I guess I'll give it to the oldest one. Yeah, that's fine. And as a new bodyguard, I guess we can pick Torma Fregar, who uh, I married to one of the newly invited people. That's fine. And I guess you are now my captain of the household guards. So will you be important as well? Court Jester, I don't actually have anyone, but I can definitely do that. This lady, sh I, I imprisoned. So I think I might as well make her Court Jester. King's Justice should be... Mm, yeah, probably our captain of the House of God will make him King's Justice too. And as commander, I would like to pick Nimella. Awesome. Just so we have a little bit of a variety there. Okay, so I haven't married, but yeah, I'm not sure if I should. Is there anyone worth marrying? No, actually I can't. Can't marry anyone just yet. Interesting. Well, uh, we've got 300 gold, but as I said, I don't really want to spend anything here because of the winter. And it's, uh, yeah, it's not too nice. Increasing the cost quite a bit. 25%. And also the build time is higher, so it's not really a big reason to do it. Now, we can declare an emancipation war on Mir, and I would like to do that. The thing is, they got 16,000 men. I don't. Well, I, I do. But they also have the money to raise more men. Um, so... That would be really a long, drawn-out war, and I'm not sure if our if our princess wants to fight this anymore. I think she is. She's getting so old that at this point she's just like, you know what? No, I'm 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 too old for this stuff, right? So she's she's not really too interested in doing that. Um, so I don't know. I guess we'll just hold off on that. We'll save her a little bit of money. I think this is how we will do things. My niece has asked me to spend some quality family time in Lorulu. Um, so she is now getting along with her son, Prince Yandri. Well, that's good. That's 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 awesome. Yeah, well, we'll go there and we'll see uh, if we can improve some relations. That'd be nice. Yes. All right, cool. So we improve relations. Well, perfect. You actually want to get married. You know what? I think I have someone at my court that I would like. Wait, I can marry you to yourself? No, hold on. That's not what I meant. <laughs> that's not what I meant. Let me see. I think I have some battle ladies at court. How about Nia? No, no, he have Archon. Nimella. She's actually my commander. That's fine. You don't want her. Alright, fine then. Okay, the Lords of the Rhoyna have approved medium realm authority. Well, that's very nice to see. Awesome, but we still don't get any new updates. But this means we should get more troops now, because they should give us more of their minimum armies. My rival's in hiding. That's fine. And my, your Cody has died. And you, are you in love with that lady? I don't know, but I will attend. Now one uh, other, or some other good news that we have. We have two geniuses in our family. We have De Delon Greenblatt. She is the daughter of Master Gullian of the Goat Tower. And he, um, yeah, her cousin, Morse Greenblatt, is also genius. So I mean to marry these two together and make probably Morse my my next heir. After after Melissa dies and then Nemo takes over, Morse is going to be our new heir and he's going to be married to his cousin. Two geniuses will rule and I think that's going to be great. That's going to be very great and from then on uh, we should be able to, well, sp spread the Roina religion all across uh, Western Essos and then we'll spread into, uh, well, 
the the Iron Throne in Westeros. Now, as you can see, Tyrosh already has a foothold here. We could use that. Wrath Town might actually not be a bad thing, because then from there on we could maybe attack the uh, King Godwin, the Fat. That'd be quite useful, in fact. All right. So, um, I honestly, Loreza, I don't really care about her. To be honest, I'm sorry. But, you know, fine, whatever. I, I don't, I don't mind. She does not mean anything to me, so I'm not too concerned. Um, yeah, disease, I'm not too concerned either. I don't really want to, yeah, close the gates. Because we don't have any disease here. That doesn't make any sense. It's over there, the Great Plague, but that's still so far away. Like, even even a Craven character doesn't really care that much, I think. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, we have a few, yeah, a few Zothraki raiders kind of annoying us. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal. You're even making money from the trade routes. Well, that's good for you. That's awesome. Yeah. You're actually not making all that much money. And you should definitely marry. I was actually trying to get him married. The problem is he wouldn't accept the lady um, that I proposed. In fact, you know what? How about I marry you to... I think last time he didn't accept either. Yeah. He had a quick girl and he didn't want her. Well, that sucks. And I will stand. I will command him to stand down. What is he? What is he even doing? Attacking Prince Nemor. Ooh, do these two guys together? But uh, it looks as if All right, he stood down. Awesome. Well, he knows what's good for him. And Master Rickus has arrested an armed man. No, he's clearly a bandit. Of course he is. Yes, for sure. And yeah, the Thraki raiding ruins again, making tons of money. Oh my god. Yes, 9,000 gold. Always nice. Now, this Dothraki that we still have imprisoned, he doesn't have any money. So, I mean, he, how much would he be worth? Let me, let me see. 250 gold. That would be really nice, but he just doesn't have the money. I would like him to raid these, these provinces. Anyway, you have given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Master Rickus' sexual preferences. We'll keep, keep that information to ourselves, I think. Yeah. No reason to act against... Our current master at arms. He's doing an amazing job. In fact, is uh, is Nisar booming? No, it's flourishing. Still, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Has something been built in the city? Nothing at all. Who's in control? Who's in charge? Oh, that's you, Master Rikas. I see. You in charge of that city. Well, you should be using your money. That'd be great. And a trade post has been built by Prince Lewin. Oh, interesting. He built a trade post. I didn't know that. Pots everywhere trying to kill people. Alright, well, I guess we'll go into hiding. Who's my designated regent, by the way? It is my heir. Alright, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll go into hiding then. That's fine. And, yes. To your aunt, you are taken over. That's, that's good. I mean, you're going to be the ruler anyway, so I, I guess that's fine. But... Yeah, you should be making more money now that you have that trade post. Looking good. I didn't know you could build a trade post. I probably should have done that myself. So who who controls this trade post? Trade post of oh, House Things. Interesting. Um, Prince Nima has been a little unable servant. I guess he would reward himself, wouldn't he not? Well, he's content. So I don't think he would, but yeah, let's just say I owe him a favor. I mean, there's not much he can really do. Uh, I hope not, anyway. So, yeah, we didn't die, which is actually kind of impressive. This is pointless, I guess. We'll stop spying on, on people. You know what? It's just, we're getting so old at this point. I don't know. I think we, we just want to maybe sit back and relax a little bit. We're actually still heir to these provinces, which is nice. So we might be able to give them out, too. But... I think um, I think that was it for this episode. We're looking pretty good. The Dothraki are consolidating under Karl Moro, it seems. But still, they have there are two strong Kalasars that need to fight it out between each other. So I think we got some time to recover our troops. And of course, I want Winter to go away. Until that happens, I don't think I want to start an offensive war because we don't know what Norvas might do or, or, the, or so. So I think we'll just uh, we'll sit back. Relax a little bit. I'll come back next time, probably when our princess is dead. And then we'll see how things go from there. Anyways, though, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I will see you next time.